Hello everyone, this is Elizabeth Hall, your fantabulous and extraordinary social media manager. And today I'm going to show you or explain to you why you should change your WordPress URLs. And um, first of all, people don't really realize that they can change the URLs. And this is going to be a really quick video and one reason why you should change it is for SEO purposes and that's search engine optimization so let's go over to a post and here I'm going to go ahead and um, go right in and let's put in a title why you need to change your press URL So we have a title and that's pretty long. And what will happen once you make a title in WordPress, as you can see, if you looked here, it automatically put a permalink in. And a permalink goes by a couple of names and one of those is the URL for your page and another is the slug. So if you ever hear anyone talk about changing a slug, it's basically just the URL for your page. So if you go here to edit you'll see that every single word that you put in is actually included in your slug and you don't want that you need to know what your keyword your focus keyword is going to be and you want to include that in your permalink also you will want to make sure that your keyword is at the beginning so let's just change this um, you also want to make sure that your permalink is going to be short. It doesn't need to be long. It just needs to be concise. So let's just change this to, uh, we can change it to anything we want. We'll say changing WordPress URL. Boom. That's it and say OK. And what will happen is it's going to put everything into lowercase and it'll put in some dashes in between for the for your URL. Now, um, one thing that you need to know is you can change the permalinks anytime that you want to, but I would not recommend changing your permalink after you have already published the post. This needs to be done before publishing. You can change it after you have have published it, but then what you'll need to do is you'll need to redirect the old link to the new link because now you'll have a broken link. So unless you're savvy with the permalinks that, or your database that works behind the scenes on your WordPress platform, I would definitely not recommend changing anything that you've already done. But just go, going forward, make sure that your permalink contains your keywords and that is short and also, you want to make sure that your permalink does not include any um, stop words. And stop words are words like to, a, do, like really short words that really don't have any meaning. So your, key, your keywords should always be relevant and they should be short and not contain any of those stop words. And don't change your permalink after you've already published it. And that's it for today. If you have any social media related questions, please contact me by putting a message in the comments. You can go over to smartofficehelp.com. You can leave a comment there. Also, make sure that you subscribe to future videos so that you can get more tips, tools, and resources for your social media. And then also give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. So go out and grow your networks using social media. Have a great day. Additional social media tutorials are being posted weekly. Subscribe for future updates so you don't miss out. You can also check out past videos. I encourage you to share them with your friends, followers, and fans.